Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem C from Educational Code Forces Round 93, problem name Good Sub it is. It's a good problem but it is just a modification of a standard problem. I will make you understand how it is a modification. So let's understand the question first. You are given an array, ARR, or like an array of length n consisting of integers from 0 to 9. Okay, now a sub array can be an array such that from L to R you choose out all the numbers. Now it is a good sub array if the sum of the elements in this sub array is equal to the length of this sub array. Okay, so which means that as you can see in this example, the length of this sub array is equal to 1 and the total sum of this sub array is equal to 1 also. So this is good. Okay, now as you can see if I choose this sub array which is 2 0, then the length of this sub array is 2 and the total sum of this sub array is also equal to 2. So that's also equal to 1 good sub array. And then this whole sub array is also equal, like equal to 3, the sum is equal to 3 and the length is equal to 3. So this is also sub array which is good. So total number of good sub arrays in this array is equal to 3. So you have to count out the good sub arrays. Okay. So this is just a modification of the question to count out how many sub arrays which has a size equal to or total sum equal to 0. I hope you know that question. If you don't know that question, you can search it out or I will also explain it here. So if you know the question, the question statements can be state that if you know how many sub arrays are there whose sum is equal to zero. So let's understand that question and then relate that question with this question. So let's assume that you have uh, yeah, these are the sub arrays like this is an array and you have to find out how many sub arrays are there whose like total sum is equal to zero. Okay. So this sub array is there, this sub array is there whose total sum is equal to zero. Okay. I can make this equal to minus three and then this sub array is there, this, this and this and this is also there. I will not down here. This sub array is also equal to that. So these are total sub arrays whose sum is equal to zero. So how you find out these sub arrays? You can use or like find out using a map. So you can find out the last occurrence of a sum. You like there's a great article on GFG. You can also read that out. But what you can do here is let's assume that I make a map here in which I initialize the zero total sum is equal to zero to one because I can always find out a total to sum equal to zero if I cannot take any element. Okay. Now I iterate over from left to right and store the total sum till that ith position. Okay. So let's assume that I move from left to right and the total sum at this point is equal to zero. Now, if I have seen this total sum somewhere in the map, then the, like the sum between this position and this position, is equal to zero like you can understand this with this example which means that because if you store the last occurrence of zero in this map also so let's assume the last occurrence of zero is somewhere which is stored in this map now the next occurrence of total sum equal to zero comes at this position so all the elements between that position so let's assume that i have some number in which till this point the total sum comes out to be zero and now i again add some numbers and delete some numbers and at this position also the total sum come out to be zero so what does this means the number between these two position is a total sum equal to zero why because it is not affecting the total sum like let's assume i am moving from left to right and i am storing the total sum till the ith position and the total sum till ith position comes out to be zero at this position now I again move and I again see that the total sum come out to be zero at this position. So what does this mean? It means that the total sum till this position is null because it is not adding to some additional form. form. Also, if we are finding out the total sum equal to zero at this position, we always initialize our total sum at the beginning also zero because there is no number. Now, if I find out some number, we start from zero and we go till this position and we form, find out a total sum equal to zero, which means that the total number of elements between this position are not adding up to some values, which means that if you take all these numbers, then the total sum between the starting and this position equal to zero. 
ओके नाउ बिटवीन दीज टू पोजिशन इक्वल टू जीरो बट इफ यू टेक दिस नंबर दिस नंबर This is also equal to zero because if you take start from this and end at this, then this number also takes up to the zero. So that's how. Okay. So let's assume that also at this position, at this position, the total number sum. If we go from starting to end and at this position, the total sum becomes equal to six. Let's assume the total sum becomes equal to six. And now I again move to the right, and then at this position also total sum equal equal to six. So which means that again between these two points, the total numbers. Doesn't add up to anything. It will always remains to zero. If you take out some numbers between this position, they will add up to zero, and then again the total sum becomes same. Okay, so that's how we can find out the the sub arrays which has like total sum equal to zero. We can also extend out to find out to like sub arrays whose sum is equal to like k. Okay, so now I hope you understand this logic now. Now how can you turn out this question into this question? Okay, so if you have some question in which let's assume that take out this example only one two zero, one two zero. Okay, so let's find out the sub arrays which has length equal to the total sum of that sub array. You have this which is the length one and sum equal to one. You have this which is length two, sum equal to two, and then. This is total length three sub equal sum it sum equal to three. Okay, if I subtract one from every position, like okay, see that I subtract one from every position, it will become like zero, and then it will become like one, and it will become minus one. Now mark out the same sub arrays, and you can easily find out that the total sum of these sub arrays is equal to zero. and this turns out to be the same question now you can find out like why like how this question turn out to be this question you can easily understand this by seeing or like visualizing this question in this question the length of this sub array the length of this sub array is equal to this sum if i subtract somehow the length of this sub array from the total sum then the answer turns out to be zero so if i find out the length of this sub array which is forming this sum and then i subtract it from the sum of this sub array then it becomes zero so i just need out to find out the total length of this sub array that's also what we can do because we are doing the same here we are iterating from this position if we somehow store the positions of the sub array positions so let's assume that i find out a zero position at this position and at this position and at this position i can store that here i find out at the fifth position the turns out again to be zero and that at tenth position it turns out to be zero again so if you find out that the total length of the sub array is like this okay and if the sum of these sub array is turns out to be zero and the same what you can do here is if you find out the total sum of this sub array Then, if you know the total sum of this sub array between these two positions, then if you subtract it with the total length, then you can find out that this turns out to be zero. So, some other codes also what they did here is you can just make the simple map and subtract from the total sum the length of the sub array, which is i plus one, because you are actually moving from left to right. Okay, so that's the simple code. If you understand this logic, then you can un also understand this logic. You just have to draw it on the paper, and it will become more clear. So let's move on to the code. The code is also very simple, uh, in which you just make a map, take the total sum, which is the total sum when moving from left to right. Map zero is initialized to one, which I have told you in the example. Then sum is just the total number of sub arrays, good sub arrays. Then what you will do, or actually sum is equal total is the total good sub arrays. Sum is the total sum. Okay, you iterate over from left to right. Find out the is position character because it is in string converted to like converted to uh, number numeric form, and then subtract one from it, which I have told you, such so that it will become a question of finding out total sub arrays having zero sum. And then it is a simple add it to total sum, and if you have seen this total sum earlier, add it to total, which is the total number of good sub arrays. Okay. and then because you have seen this here again 
again update the map value of sum plus one because you have now again seen it and i'll tell you one more thing so let's assume that you have a string and you have seen zero here zero here zero here and zero here now how many good sub areas can you form here you can form if you like find out you can form one sub area this then one sub area this and one sub area this okay so this is the one one good sub area then this is one good sub area then for this you can form this this and this so for every addition of zero what we are doing we are incrementing it by count by like first it is one then it is two then it is ten it is three so what you can do here is that what we are doing we're incrementing its count and then again incrementing because it will become three so now three sub arrays will add if you find out the same number again so you will add three and increment its count to four so now if you again find out the same number then the sub array size will increase by four uh to total good sub arrays will increase by four and so on you will understand this logic also on geeks of geeks for geek space total number of sub arrays whose size or total number of sub arrays whose total sum is equal to zero so i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video and do subscribe if you like these explanations i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye